Well, good morning there, everybody. <clears throat> We're taking a look today at uh, Job 28. This is Job's discourse on wisdom. So here is uh, Job going along explaining uh, to his friends there, his three friends that, that, that keep telling him he's the problem. And, and they, they obviously don't understand wisdom. So here's Job here saying, you know what? I'm going to explain it for you a little bit here. And he goes on, he goes on to explain it. And, and give him a little bit of a teaching on it. And then it says in verse 12, it says, But where can wisdom be found? Where, where do you find wisdom? I mean, it's, it's where is it? And, and he goes on to say, you can't mine it. You know, like gold you can mine, sapphires you can mine. And he goes on, he says all these things, but where do you find it? He goes on in, in verse verse 18, something that struck out to me. It says, for the price of wisdom is above rubies. So y you know what? There, there is no money on earth to buy wisdom. And yeah, that reminds me of another verse in, in, the, in, in the Bible. It's uh, Proverbs 31.10. It actually says, who can find a virtuous wife? Her price is far above rubies. So wherever this far above rubies place is, all right, now you're going to find a good wife, and I bet a good husband as well, for, for those ladies listening, for those ladies watching. And you're going to find some great wisdom wherever far above rubies is. Let's go on. Let's go on to look and see. He says, asks us in verse 20, he says, from where then does wisdom come? So then he starts thinking about it. Where does it come? And you get down in verse 27. It says, then he, meaning God, saw wisdom. And declared it. He prepared it. Indeed, he searched it out. You see, the wisdom that he saw there was the wisdom that was in men, uh, which, which is nothing compared to the wisdom that is far above rubies. There's that place, far above rubies. Oh, my goodness. Now we get into the last verse, verse 29. And, and this verse really wraps up the entire thing. It says, and to man, he said, so here's God speaking to us. And he's about to tell us what wisdom really is and where to find it. Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. What is wisdom? It's the fear of the Lord. And it's not a fear that makes you afraid of him. It's a fear that makes you afraid to be away from him. You see, God wants you to have a healthy fear from him. He wants you to have a, a fire for him, a reverence for him. He wants there to be a, a healthy love, fear type thing, okay? And this isn't a fear, you know, the similar fear you get from watching a scary movie or the similar fear you get from somebody scaring you or something like this. Isn't that, this, this is a different type of fear. It's, it's you know, once you have that relationship with Christ, it's the fear of living without it. And I, I can't, I can't, I do not want to live without that that relationship I can't I don't know how I did it before so what do you do when you get that wisdom he says to finish up the chapter and to depart from evil is understanding you want to understand God depart from evil I've learned the more evil that I get myself away from and the more evil and the more self-satisfying that I stop doing and the more that I begin to, to just satisfy him because he's God and the more I just be obedient to him because I fear him, the more I understand who he is and why he created me. It's the fear of the Lord. That's wisdom. And depart from evil, you'll understand it. So have a super day, guys. I love you all.